sorry. Cappuccino is, I mean, espresso is important. So <laughs> anyway, so why, why, why did you get started doing what you're doing? And, you know, explain a little bit who you are and why you did what you, 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 you're doing right now. Okay, um, I'm Domenico Cellario and, uh, and I'm, a, I'm a professional fire. Uh, to be fire is a, a tradition in my family. I'm a third generation. And to be honest, to, uh, to start to build my machine, the idea to build my machine, it is just only for my curiosity. Because uh, our standard education didn't explain me why particular injuries or something happened to the horses because no one tried to understand what's happened inside the the, the hoof capsule and mainly in, uh, inside the the forelimb and for this uh, i tried to understand another language english to try to travel ar around europe or united states to find the response for my um uh, my problem about locomotion but no one could help me uh, and in this case I try to uh, um, develop this machine. It was very hard because no one do it in, in the world. And I spent five years to reproduce my machine that helps to understand the interaction of, um, in the same time, of the equine for lean. To be honest, the, the, um, the only thing that moved me to uh, develop a machine, it is just curiosity. I'm a very, very curious, yeah. uh, curious man. Many people call me the why man because they want to understand everything why something happened. Well, that's I it. think it's very important to be curious because that's how you, you solve problem, you know. And I, I, I do think, you know, with the scientific pursuit, often you're not allowed to be curious and spend the time to develop the stuff. You know, it, it, you, you have you have a lot of protocol and you can't always be creative. So for me, being curious and creativity together um, is the best the best thing to do research, you know, because I, I think you, you come up with a, a interesting solution, you know. And um, because, yes, uh, give a, give a, uh, open your mind because um, uh, the only problem that we have uh, in our education doesn't matter you are a fire or vet. We have uh, education and uh, uh, and we work in this education and we are closer in the box. And many times, after something to the horses, um, um, the people as approach on the horses, um, uh, what is written in the books. But uh, what happened in uh, in reality is different from the books. So right. there is um, a conflict with the, um, what uh, they try to explain because knowledge from from the books, from the professor, from university or the far East school, what uh, really happened to the horses. Just for example, the um, the saddled horses has many injuries for superficial deep flexion tendon than the deep flexion tendon. But the approach of the vets and the farrier, mainly in the shoeing, is to give relief and to protect the deep flex of tendon. But the deep flex of tendon is easily like superficial. This is open my mind when it was with a vet, and the vet was checking what is wrong with the tendons of the horses. And we see that this horse has injury in superficial. After the different months, this vets call me again to see another horses. And these horses has always um, injuries on the superficial. And just in, in this way, in this case, it starts my curiosity. I will talk with other vets. They say, okay, yes, Domenico, you are right. The saddle horses, the superficial digital flexor tendon has a higher risk of injuries. Okay, this is what's happening in reality. And my question to the vet is why we try to show horses, we, we focus always on the deep reflex of tendon. The right. problem is to protect in the same way or reduce the cases of injuries of the superficial. And this is another, another thing when um, I say thinking outside the box, because when it comes out from our education, we are closed in the box. And we have problem to um compare what uh, we have study with the reality but with the reality we can see one thing but the approach to solve the problem is with um you say um is you say with a cross in mind 
This right. is, for me, is a conflict. It is not a good way. Also, this is my curiosity. Okay, one does understand better uh, what's happened. Also, what it change on the off with the trimming the, uh, or different soil, other things. This, this is my curiosity and my thinking of the outside the box. Always open mind. Right. Well, I think, you know what, and, and again, you're, you are a farrier, but you know, when you do those compression uh, uh, tests, you also use barefoot foot because the, the, the general idea, everyone, whether you're a barefooter or you're a farrier, always evolves around the deep flexor tendon, you know, where research has shown and most of the injuries happen in the superficial, not the deep. It's actually not that often you have injuries in the deep gear flexor tendon that compared to the injury in the superficial flexor. And, and um, I, I think humans like to put things in compartments, you know, it's easier for this mm, yeah, yeah, for that. Yeah. And, and we don't always have a choice. I mean, it, it's not like people are dumb. It's, it's really, sometimes you've got to do what you've got to do. But I think what, when you look at things that are dynamic, it's far more complex, you know, because you can't isolate the muscle you know, versus another, it's it, it, in reality, it almost happened at the same time, you know, so you, you, you got to kind of think a little bit more broadly. So, you know, and I just want to also know how, how many years do we know each other? <laughs> because you have been here mm -hmm. a few times. I mean, when did, when was it? I think I met you at Mike Savoldi the first time, didn't I? That was 10 years no, ago. Mike and you, maybe more than 12 years ago, more. Yeah, than. yeah, yeah. More. And I really say that the, the, the work you, you have done, I think it's excellent. I mean, you're, you're probably, you. uh, <laughs> you're probably an iconoclast in the sense where people, <laughs> yeah. people just, it's like me when I say things are not symmetric and people get very confused. I, I think it's very hard for people to switch their mindset, you know, and it's not like, mm -hmm. it's so strange. I didn't invent it bones, you know, they, they came that way, yeah. you know. Uh, the case is that the uh, superficial geoflex or tendon is more injury than the deep geoflex or tendon. What makes you see, just surf the net to find some scientific papers to understand what they say. And right. uh, I was surprised that there are many different uh, scientific papers that explain this. So I not invented this, right. but uh, every day, doesn't matter if it's a party or that, we have this, this problem. We have to protect in some way with uh, a strong tendons without take care what the tendons that are weaker, we have to find the solution to protect or to re um, reduce the injuries of this uh, superficial disaffection. You, you you are right. Our brain is a, is a, is a big machine, but sometimes I'm sorry for the word, it's stupid because we are located in, in some box, but sometimes we lose the connection between the box right. and the reality. Well, it's, it's, it's connecting it's, the dots, and I and I think people yeah. get very focused, and I I really think um, I'm going to plug a book by Ian, Doctor Ian McGilchrist. And it's called the master and his emissary is is a neuroscientist and and a psychiatrist and and also studied philosophy. He really see that actually our culture is is rewarding the left brain. There's, there's not just such thing a left and right brain in a crossover, but but still, it's more the analytic fine points, and it lose a bit the sense of of encompassing things. You know, connecting the dot, which is more, you know, a, a bigger broader picture. And I think we need more people that have the, you know, the, the fine tuning, but also the bigger, broader picture because you're not solving problem otherwise, you know? Yeah. I think that the people, um, um, they work say in a safe area, like to, um, with the, our education is a dogma. Right, right. It's not education. right. Yes, it, it's, it's a dogma. And for everyone uh, to stay, to live dogma is a, a safe place. Because everyone thinks in the same dogma. And in this case, you cannot make mistakes. Right, right. Not about the, the you say, what you're doing with the horses or with the computer or others. It's in the same way. So what you're saying, what you're doing is right. So it's, I think that people are some, is, is afraid to go outside right. yep. this dog yep. dogma. Because at the side, you can have many people. You say, what you're doing is wrong, it's wrong. And right. I think 
Well, and you don't this always get funding topic. when when you go. First of all, in the horse world, there's not that much funding. Period. And then when you start to break the rules, uh, it, it's it's harder, you know. So it's difficult. So, but one more thing I want to say also, you know, it, it, the dogma is also with the straight financial alignment, you know, all those things that actually physically, and we will talk more about that in further further um, uh, webinars. But um, I, I I think there's there's a lot of misconception because yeah, the foot needs to be under the bony column. Everyone agrees you don't want to have you know too long of a toe. It's stress obviously structure. But but to go from there to decide that everything has to be aligned like a like a peg, I mean that's insane, you know. And and again, it car it's not a question of farrier versus barefooters. And I will also tell the audience, you have used barefoot limbs to look at motion, not just shod horses, because I want to encompass everyone, because the same concept goes whether you keep a horse barefoot or you shoe a horse, you know. Yes, what I did for my studies at uh, one analyze without human influence. I use the cadaveric limb, just not swim too much, just make a, a level to be uh, safe on my machine and the work because I don't want to use humans influence. In this case, you can see more, more or less what natural happens to uh, the, the for limb. And with my presentation, it is just uh, a small tree around anatomy and the functional anatomy. After that, I understand um, um, understand or to be honest, more compare the dogma, what really happened to the horse. If we, if, if, to understand if the dogma is really useful for the benefits or horse or not. Right. This is uh, what I'm trying to explain in my uh, PowerPoint presentation for uh, this uh, Econa Mind. Uh, Thank you.